That's it, then. Another point, Dan? No, Mr. Paul. Three's enough to keep the cold out for the eyesight blurs. It's a working night tonight. Dan, you're not going up to the wood. And where else did the pheasants run so plump and unsuspecting? You're a fool, Dan. After what happened, stay away from that house. I'm not so easily scared, Mr. Porth. I've been poaching those woods for many years. Should I give up my living for a few wild tales about Trenick House? Sterling, one of the champions. Sterling, possessing with Sharon McCready and Richard Barrett incredible powers. Survivors of an air crash in the mountains of Tibet, where they met a people of an unknown civilization who mended their bodies and endowed them with fantastic qualities and skills. Qualities and skills both physical and mental to the peak of human performance. Craig, witness to a planned bank robbery, foils the scheme with ease by using the gifts bestowed upon him. Gifts that are a secret to be closely guarded a secret that enables the champions to use their powers to their best advantage as operators of the International Agency of Nemesis. 
champions of law, order, and justice. You must be Miss McCready. Yes, I called about half an hour ago. Would you sign the register, please, miss? I've put you in the king's room. The king's room? Which king? King Charles I. He stayed in that very room during the Civil War, the night of June 15th, 1647. You down on holiday? Well, sort of. I'm looking at buildings. Architecture. It's a hobby of mine. I shouldn't have thought there were many around here. Oh, yes, there's a couple of places. There's Marlon Castle and one quite close. You may know it. Trenig House. Yes. Yes, I know it. Where's my room? Upstairs. First on the right. I'll show you. No, it's all right. I can manage. really swinging down there. If you've got a move on, we could take a look. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost finished. $632.56. Beg your That's my expenses. That's what I spent on this trip. Expenses? Yeah, what's yours? Three pounds, 18 and five pence. It only goes to prove what I've off-time said. What have you off-time said? You're cheap. I'm what? Cheap, cheap. You sound like a canary. What are you talking about? You're always leaving me to pick up the tab. You've put him for a new suit. Buy a damage. Tremaine will want you to get that repaired. You must be joking. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Choco Gray. Yes, madam? I'd like to speak to Mr. Trenick, please. I'll see if he's at home, madam. Of course I am. Of course I'm at home, Miss... Uh... McCready. Sharon McCready. I'm sorry, I should have telephoned. How should you? Why? <laughs> Come into the drawing room. There's some sherry there. Oh, thank you. Miss McCready, the answer must be no. I've come a long way, Mr. Trenick. Yes, I'm awfully sorry, and I'd love to have shown you around, but um, until the National Trust have completed their structural survey, they're not satisfied that the house is safe for visitors. But there haven't been any announcements about it. Uh, no, I'd hardly thought it was worth it. Well, having travelled this far, I can't say that I agree with you. Well, by the time the publicity had taken effect, the survey would have been finished. Well... Considering that I'm here, is there no chance? Uh, no chance at all, I'm afraid, Mr. Creedy. I really must abide by their decision. Besides, if you'll forgive my saying so, it is my house. Yes, of course. Well, look, it shouldn't take more than about a month. If you could come back and say... My uh... vacation will be over by then. Oh, that is a pity. Oh. Well, 
let's hope you enjoy your sherry anyway. I don't think Miss McCready will give us any trouble, Hurd. You'd better check on her anyway, just in case. So Trenick House is not a National Trust property? I thought so. <sighs> yes, it was to settle an argument. Thank you. Is my call to Geneva cleared yet? It's being forward routed, madam, to Bridgetown, at Geneva's expense. One moment, please. Hello? Hello, Sharon. Craig, how are you? Pretty good. And Richard? Okay. A little disgruntled, but okay. I've just won our monthly tussle over our expense account, among other things, for the first time ever. Listen, Craig, there's something going on around here. Yeah? I know it sounds stupid, but I had this feeling. I tried to visit Trenick House today and got a very cool reception. Yeah, well, maybe Trenick didn't want visitors. Something more than that. I'm sure of it. Anyway, I'm going to take a look. I don't know, I just got this feeling, that's all. What, that maybe Sharon's right? Yeah, I know it's not much to go on. A lie about the National Trust facing the window. Probable cable laid to the house. She's planning to go out there again, she said. That's exactly what she said. She said it. She'll go, baby. Oh, boy, she'll go. You think we ought to fly straight back over there? Yes, I do. I will get expenses for this, you know. <laughs> well, if you feel this strongly about it, Craig, what are we waiting for? been witchcraft in Cornwall for 700 years. You'll never stamp it out. But surely you don't take it seriously? Well, if you live here, you have to, especially this time of the year. Why, what's so special about this time of year? Well, it's been the time of witchcraft celebrations for centuries. And according to local custom, what does this effigy mean? It means if you were wise, miss, you would leave the village tonight. Of course, it would take more than that to frighten me away. You know best, miss. You're going out? Yes, Paws. I thought I'd take a drive to clear my head of all those witches and witchcraft. Good night, miss. Good night, Paws.
great place. This is a nice part of the world. Cornwall certainly is. They got a lot of old buildings like this? Oh, even older. It used to be a very rich county, great mineral wealth. Really? Yeah, they supplied zinc and lead to the Roman Empire. Is that a fact? Yeah, and more recently, uranium. Uranium to the Roman Empire? I'm sorry. Please go on. You're better than a guidebook. Hmm? About the uranium. Yeah, well, uh, they never mined it in sufficient quantities to make it an economic proposition. Hmm, I see. Must be wonderful to be as smart as you are. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. Morning. Down for the fishing? Partly. Partly to see a friend. Uh, Miss McCready. She's staying here. Miss McCready? Yeah. She's in the king's room. You do have a king's room? Uh, yes, yes, we do. And uh, you do have a Miss McCready. Yes, of course. Excuse me, I'm terribly sorry. Can I help you? Yeah, um, this is the king's room, isn't it? Well, that's what it says on the door. Well, we thought that... Look, do you mind if we come in? We're looking for Miss McCready. You're looking at Miss McCready. You're Miss S. McCready. Yes, that's right, Susan. Hey, uh, hey, look, what is going on here? There's been a mistake, gentlemen. It's a coincidence, certainly. My name is almost the same as your friend's. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse me. Okay, let's go. It seems there's been a genuine misunderstanding. Sorry you've been troubled, miss. We'll be staying for a couple of nights, at least. Get the drinks? I'll see to it that your rooms are prepared. Single and a pint of bitter, please. Staying long? Uh, long enough. Oh, you got some pretty countryside around here. Yes. Not what it was, though. Yeah, a lot of new buildings. Yes. Still, you've still got some beauty spots. An impressive coastline and, of course, this Trenick house. Yes. Well, that'll always be there. Who uh, owns that place now? Trenick. Same as always. Uh, Mr. Douglas Trenick now. Oh, here's to him. This setup's a phony. Sharon was here, I know it. Where'd you get the book? The King's Room. How many postcards did you send us? About three, why? She wrote one of them resting on the picture of Trenick House. I can feel the indentations. I knew this was Sharon's book the moment I set eyes on it. Mistletoe. You know, before the days of kissing under the mistletoe, it had another function. It was used to ward off evil, mischance, and in particular, the terrors of witchcraft. What happened to him? Heart attack. He was one of those people who refused to believe what they heard until it was too late. Witchcraft. I must ask you to leave. Your rooms are ready.
This is your room, sir. Your room's next door, sir. I'll bring your bags up. Wait a minute, Paul. Let's have a little That'll talk. That'll be fine. You can leave the bags until later. You give me five minutes alone with that guy. I think we should tread carefully around here, Craig. Look, Richard, the odds are that Sharon is up in that house and we are standing around here kid-gloving everybody. Now, let's go. Why don't I go? You don't trust me, huh? I wouldn't say that, but kid-gloving is sometimes the best approach. You go ask a few questions around the town. We could do with some information on Mr. Douglas Trenick and on witchcraft. <laughs> Yes? Can I help you? My name's Sterling. I called you about an inquiry. Come in. Come in, Mr. Sterling. It's, uh, information about Mr. Douglas Trenick, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Yes, now, where did I put it? Uh, uh, oh, yes, yes, here it is. <laughs> oh, no, I'm very sorry. No, that's the wrong one. No, no. But, uh, ah, yes. Yes, this is it. I, I uh, knew I'd dug it up somewhere. <laughs> and buried it again. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Mr. Trenick is a, is a much respected landowner of these parts. Yeah, no history of Cornwall be complete without a reference to him. <laughs> I don't know, indeed. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to mention his connection with Cornwall's greatest mineral wealth. Oh, what was that? Uranium, of course. Unfortunately, it never materialized. The nuclear test ban agreement meant that Russia, America and Britain were no longer going to use it in the same quantities anymore. And he had an interest in it? Oh, yes, indeed, yes. He is the managing director, and his wife is a major shareholder in the Cornish Mines and Development Company. They have bought up all the mining concessions on the uranium. He must have lost a bundle on it. A fortune, I believe, Mr. Sterling. An absolute fortune. Well, is there anything else I can dig up for you? Not unless you've got a gas mask. Hmm? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, as I say, Miss McCready was here. I mean, I could hardly forget a girl like that. But she didn't come back? No, not to the best of my knowledge. Of course, she wanted to look round. I explained she couldn't, but told her she could come back in a few weeks' time, but she didn't think she'd be able to make it. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Trenning. Oh, not at all. If I can be of any further help, don't hesitate to call on me. She didn't tell me where she was staying, but if it was in the village, it must have been at the King's Head. Mm. So, perhaps if you tried there, they'd have a forwarding address. They deny ever having seen her. Really? How odd. Well, I'm sure you'll find her. It's probably all a misunderstanding. I hope you're right. Hmm. Well, thank you again. Goodbye. Sharon? Sure. Sharon, are you in there? Hey, Sharon. Sharon, can you hear me? the County Witchcraft Museum? Yes, indeed it is, Mr... Sterling. Craig Sterling. What can I do for you, Mr. Sterling? Oh, I'd like to have a look around, ask a few questions. That's what I'm here for. For openers, what's this sign? It is the sign of death. You're kidding. People don't believe in these things anymore. Do they? There are many things that defy logical explanation, Mr. Sterling. Have you never had cause to wonder on some mysterious happening? I see you have. And in Cornwall, Mr. Sterling, 
tradition dies hard. Do you believe in these things? Of course. But then I am a white witch. A white witch? An agent of good. The others, the black witches, aim to cause harm. Consult the police files for the county, Mr. Sterling. See how often they have considered witchcraft as a possible motive. That's very interesting. Effigies. No well-equipped witch should be without one. You treat it very lightly, Mr. Sterling. Look, I'm sorry, but the idea of making an effigy of an enemy and sticking pins in it... Would cause his death. Everyone should carry their own effigy to keep it safe. Like you do? Of course. As a white witch, I know its power. Follow the spell, and death strikes surprisingly often. We make them here. Would you like one? Of myself? No, if you don't mind, I'll give it a miss. It ain't mine, mister. I just found it here. Your name Wetlaw? George Wetlaw? Why? Why do you ask? Where is it? No. You, uh, dropped some money, mister? No, that's not my money. Whose is it, then? It's George Wetlaw's. Hello, George. I want some information. The police told me that... All right, I'm not from the law. I want some answers, and they told me you might have known Dan Edgley. Well, did you? Did you know him? Maybe. We, uh... We, uh... We're in the same line of business. I used to bump into him. You knew that he was dead? Yeah, heart attack, they say. What do you think? That don't pay me to think, mister. He used to work the land over by the, uh, Trenick house, didn't he? Yeah, I'm all fool in. What went on there, George? I don't know. Well, not exactly. Didn't Dan ever talk about it? Why should he? Dan and me kept ourselves to ourselves. Most people do around these parts. Well, didn't he, uh, give you a hint? He said he saw people in the woods. People? Like monks they were. Hoods over their heads. What did they do? Rites, ceremonies. Dan never stayed when they were abroad. Anything else? Not that I can remember. Well, if you do think of anything else, I'll be at the King's Head. Child. Don't you take it out on me. What are you doing, sir? Yeah, all right, so we've had a bad day. Haven't had a bad day? I'm steeped in local tradition. Richard Sharon has got to be in that house. Has she? I called her from the outside, you know. The only thing that goes to prove is that you can't hear through stone walls four feet thick. And there's another thing that's bothering me. What's that? You know, all the other times when one of us has been in a situation, the other two have always known about it. It's not happening. No, it isn't. But in the past, there's always been immediate danger. Maybe there isn't this time. Well, we can't just sit around here. We've got to wait until it gets dark. What for? I get a feeling that around here, things happen at night. Ah, 
I should be the envy of the country, having three such charming ladies around my table. Spying. She's spying on us, that's what she's doing. She's spying on us. Ah. A couple of days, my dear, and you'll be released. In the meantime... I stay locked in that room. Why? Until the celebrations are over, of course. Celebrations? Our ceremonies take place at this time of year. My wife's most anxious that all should go smoothly. It's as it's been in our family for the past 500 years. And where in the ceremony do you use a heavy gauge industrial electricity supply? What? What's she talking about, Douglas? Oh, for the house lighting, my dear. Yeah, just for the house lighting. Uh, hold, escort our guest to her room, will you? I'm afraid you'll have to excuse us as well, my dear. Jane and I have some office work to finish. Your mistake has given us quite complicated problems, Douglas. You're buying uranium is never a mistake, my dear, in this day and age. voltage cable. Yes, it runs all the way back to a 10,000 kilowatt generator parked in the woods. Yeah, I can hear it. All right, let's try and get inside the house. are wrong. Very wrong. You disturb me, Miss McCready. You can soon fix that by calling off your man. Nothing must spoil tonight's celebrations. You're expecting guests? People are coming from all over the county. This will be the greatest night for witchcraft in a hundred years. expects a thousand witches to turn up from all over Cornwall. And she's in for a rude awakening, isn't she? The Porth's arrived with a van. Shall I help? She won't cause any trouble. Uh, perhaps not, but there's no point in taking chances. You're not needed anyway. We've nearly finished downstairs. She can't be hearing you. In that case, we'd better look around for a tie beam. What's a tie beam? What's a tie beam? You haven't heard Sharon in architecture. Oh. When a house of this age and size, you have a tie beam to transmit structural stresses. Gee whiz. Thank you. 
This is a tie beam. Thank you. Now, if my calculations are correct... First floor bedroom in the East Wing. I will never knock architecture again. Let's go. Your tea, madam. That's service for you. You English and your tea. What's up with him? He was slightly worried about you. That's nice of him. Me, I knew you'd be all right. I didn't want to leave till I'd find out what was going on. Yeah, what is a house like this doing with so much industrial electricity? I was looking for the generators when they found me. I've been a house guest ever since. All right, you want to take a look at old houses in Cornwall? Let's try this one off a size. After you, madam. So. We don't want anyone pulling out. We'll take them first. Whatever happens, I don't think Mrs. Trenig's involved. Ah, the witchcraft bit is useful for keeping people away from the house. Okay, you stay here and keep your pretty head down. Remember, you're on leave. What is it? What is this? Go back upstairs, Mrs. Trenick. Stay out of the way. I knew it was a mistake to keep you here. I told Douglas. I have an awareness. I knew you had powers the moment I saw you. Go upstairs, Mrs. Trenick. You've come to stop the rights, haven't you? People are coming from all over Cornwall. You can't stop us. Nobody's coming, Mrs. Trenick. They are. I know they are. Don't you realize? I'll stop you. I'll stop you. I'll get Douglas. Ah! a lot. I say, could you tell me the way to Land's End? Draw a map. We don't want any noise. Counterfeit money? Oh, no. Much better than that. 
This is a counterfeit of a British government white paper. Holy. This reckons to give an official account of the latest Anglo-American agreement on the testing of nuclear weapons. Hey, 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 kindly turn to chapter 23 in your song sheets, where the crucial paragraph happens to read that Britain and America have agreed to resume testing of nuclear bombs in the atmosphere. Well, there's a defense white paper due out on that agreement in the next day or two. I mean, they never believe this. Yeah, the Russians might. I mean, really, in all fairness, they couldn't afford not to. Yes, and they might even resume nuclear testing just to keep pace. I mean, what with all the international confusion and distrust? I mean, before it gets sorted out, everybody's going to start testing nuclear bombs. And the price of uranium would go sky high. Mrs. Trenick? Mrs. Trenick? I shouldn't waste your time, Miss McCready. When my wife faints, she faints. Oh, you damaged her effigy. That's why she passed out. Your new knowledge is a severe embarrassment to me, Miss McCready. I don't see why. Your defense paper isn't going to fool anybody. I have a different opinion. It's a long shot, I admit, but can't you imagine the rush of accusations and denials? Who'll know the truth? Certainly not the Russians. You're talking too much, Douglas. I don't think so. She already knows too much. Exactly. And I had hoped to complete this operation without bloodshed, but first that poacher who wouldn't believe the signs, and now you, Miss McCready. Upstairs, please. We'll take the girl with us. Use the coast road to Truro. Another incautious tourist steps over the cliffs. Or another ritual murder for the police to ponder on. It makes no difference. Trenick? Where are you going? of a deputation. Well, sir, uh, we've come to see you. What, about your expenses? Well, I must point out, you know, that this mission was unscheduled. A mission that you admittedly solved, but one that probably wouldn't have got on the ground anyway. Yeah, yes, sir, that's true. And Sharon was on leave, I Which might is add. why, very sportingly, she isn't claiming. Oh, yes, that is very sporting. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll reconsider the whole business as soon as I get your expense accounts for the Caribbean trip. And always providing that you are not, once again, asking Nemesis to underwrite your tailor's bills. Now, you let me have the paperwork as soon as you've finished it. Oh, and by the way, and quite off the record, you, you did a very good job. You know, it is such a lucky thing that you three have your feet so firmly on the ground. Oh, you know what I mean. Witchcraft and spells. And, um, uh, effigies. Uh, yes, and effigies. Yeah. Well, so long. <laughs>